The World Series of Poker 2022, $10,000 main event, day two. We bagged, we tagged, we fought adversity, and we persevered. We did not lose. As long as we don't lose, we will win. Another 10 hours of play, another 13 plus hour session. No days off. We had a day off yesterday. We shipped a WSOP event online for two grand, $30 rebuy. I still got it. I know how to win tournaments. Let's apply that to this tournament. Two hour levels, pick your spots, take your time, accumulate. Here's my table draw. Only person I recognize is Brandon Myers who was on command online, MTT reg back in the day. Let's bag and tag day two. Fifty big blinds is plenty, but we're gonna get to a hundred big blinds and stay above that level. It's a nice cushion, so we can withstand any coolers that come our way and continue to accumulate and build. We're gonna bag three hundred and forty-five thousand, right around the same as my man Poker Guru Rob Coon. On to day three. Whoa, you took the shortcut too. The button has been drawn to seat number three. Dealers, everybody put your button in seat number three. Players are going to kick things off with a small blind of 400, big blind of 800, and of 800. I'd like to wish you all the very best of luck today. Dealers, please shuffle up and deal. The blind's at 400, 800. Pulls around a small blind who limps. I have queen jack, I think about raising, but by checking, we can keep some dominated queens and jacks in there and cooler. Flop comes, ace, king, seven. We got the nut gutter and the nut no pair. He bets 1,000. Let's see a miracle turn. The turn is not a miracle, it's a four of hearts, I believe. He checks. Good stab here, but queen high is probably good. So I check behind. The river's a 10 of diamonds. <laughs> Hello. Always feels good to river the nuts in the main event. But unfortunately, he checks. I bet 3,300 and he check raises to 13,500. I got about 45,000 behind. What's the right size in here? All in? I was so excited. I just went with 33,000 leaving chips behind, so if I am bluffing, I'm not risking my whole tournament. He thinks and thinks, asks for a count behind, and eventually puts in the call. We didn't want to see a jam, because that's going to be a chop, but we do like to see the call. He probably had a set, and we take down a huge pot up to 80k. About 100,000 on first break, a great two hours. Let's repeat those two hours. I appreciate it, man. Those keep cool. Boom. Yeah, good luck to you. How many chips you can? Nashville, Tennessee. I watched a lot of your vlogs, man. Appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate it. No, I appreciate it. All right, man. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah, absolutely, man.
will be at the end of this level. With blinds at 400, 800, middle position opens to 2,000. I'm in late position with pocket kings to make it 5,500. The blinds fold back to the original razor who puts in the call. And the flop comes ace, nine, three, all spades, always an ace. We check back for a spade and we do have the king of spades. He checks to us, we bet 4,000 and they fold. With blinds at 500, 1,000, we pick up kings under the gun. Hopefully no one has aces. I make it 2,200 to go, and I get three calls. Hopefully there's no ace on the flop. The flop comes ace, king, six. I see bet 3,300, and everybody folds. No one had an ace, and we move on to the next hand. One hundred thirty thousand coming back from dinner. 1,500, 1,500 blinds. <laughs> the blinds that 1,500, 1,500. Early position raises to 3,500. The guy next to me calls. I'm in the hijack with East 10 of hearts and getting a massage. Of course, I'm strong when I three bet here. I make it 12,000. Both players don't care and they call. The flop comes queen, four, deuce, one heart. Checks me. I got a rep, ace, queen, kings, aces, queens, jacks, you know, good hands. So I bet 12,000 and both of them snap call. What do they got? A mid pair and a queen? Hopefully, we turn the king of hearts and we can just barrel it in there. Turns a three. They checked me and I'm just over a pot size bet remaining. 80,000 chips. Do we shove all in on the turn? Will they believe that we have better than a queen? Is one of them trapping with a set? Is this the moment I risk my tournament life in the World Series of Poker main event? I check behind. The river is an offsuit eight. A brick. They both quickly check to me. And I'm left with the decision. Can we credibly rep a value hand after checking the turn? Would we still bet ace queen on this river? Are they going to fold the queen to a 40k bet or an all in? There's only one way to find out. But I do not find out. I check behind. Original Razor shows ace seven of spades, which we beat. And the second guy shows. Pocket fives. That hand could have went so much better if the fives just fold the flop or maybe even pre flop. Probably not pre flop, you gotta set mine there, but fives fold the flop and we win a huge pot. As a side note from the ace 10 heart heart hand, think about the butterfly effect and how all decisions kind of directly affect your, your outcome, good or bad. Imagine a world where I shove the turn. A pot size jam with the ace 10 with the wheel draw on the over. Are they going to fold the queen there? Do they have any sets in their range? Imagine if I shoved that turn and ace 7 of spades called because he was calling the flop for the backdoor spade draw. He got it and the wheel draw. River bricks. We win with ace high 10 kicker for the full double and some. Imagine. But no, I did not shove. No. The fives did overcall flop bet, and we lose a decent pot. Big swing there. Every pot counts. Make good decisions, and in the long run, good things will happen. Oh well, 80,000 going to the last level of the night. 1,000, 2,000, 40 big blinds. It's bag attack. 8,663 with a total prize pool of $8,782,475. King Grid places will be paid with a course of mid cash being worth. King 
thousand dollars. <laughs> and if you're a lucky person who makes it through eight thousand six hundred sixty-three entries, they will collect ten million dollars and the WSOP made of it bracelet. Best of luck to everyone. That's right. Button makes it 4,500. I've pocket jacks in the big blind. I make it 17,000 off of that 80k stack. We're playing for stacks. He looks at my neck pulse for 30 seconds and then decides on a fold. Good fold. Nice and peaceful. Yeah. Nice White copy to the dealer. Yellow in the bag. You keep that pink copy. Where the Name Chip got hometown on this split. Thank Name you. Chip got new city seven on bag. This is an 11 a.m. restart tomorrow. All right, playing with y'all. chips it's above starting we're in the profit just kidding probably not gonna cash until the end of day three so we got a lot of work to do let's find some good spots let's get a soft table draw let's bag and tag on day three stay tuned it's so hot in there it's got to be at least 80 degrees dealers are sweating players are sweating it's brutal and these long days back to back to back are gonna just be torture unless I can get some good sleep and some good nutrition. Got to make good mental decisions or else I'm going to make a big mistake. <laughs> 